And the truth is, people in private universities are actually double stressed than people in public universities. Now, you might be a student in a public university in Nigeria, and you might come up on my comment section and just say it's a lie. But understand that these students in private universities aren't just faced with academic work, facing school work, and they're facing management work because dodging management, coming out of trouble, staying out of trouble, is so hard, is so difficult because anything can lead you inside trouble. So they're actually double stressed than people in public university. Private universities are putting structures and issues to make you stressed, tired, overworked, and just not able to lose weight. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ugo Iduma and I make videos on health, fitness, and all-around wellness. And in today's video, I'll simply be sharing with you tips on how to lose weight in a private university specifically a private university here in nigeria now i went to a private university i'm an alumni of Covenant university class of 2017 ah yeah i know what it means to be in a private university trying to lose weight now being in a private university trying to lose weight is different from being in a public university trying to lose weight now not all but majority of all private universities don't allow their students to go out whenever they want you have to take permissions first before leaving the school premises secondly most private universities don't allow their students cook their meals and thirdly most of the meals that they sell in the cafeterias or lunch places taste terribly and also to those people that decide to have their fruits and vegetables in private universities as a way to being healthy most of the fruits and vegetables sold there are spoiled or about to be spoiled so there's a really big difficulty with people in private universities trying to lose weight first things first if you're in a private university you literally have no option but to eat the meals given to you you have to go and buy those meals because if you don't eat those meals you are literally not going to eat anything and being hungry and starving yourself is not advisable because as a student you need your energy you need food going into you to be able to focus read study and just be healthy to just be in school so you have to buy those meals but if you're trying to lose weight it's very important that you first portion control now they always sell the food in a pack i don't have the pack but they always sell it in a pack i would always advise that you have half of the pack or if you go to school with the measuring cup it's very important that you have a cup of it and you know most of the time those and um, those food they are given to us and you take them to the hostel and so you eat them mostly in the hostel not even in the cafeteria area so if you get your meals you take it to the hostel so before going to school get the measuring cup and actually measure out a cup and have a cup and you can always give the remaining food to you know a friend that needs food because students even in private university though the fees are a lot higher most of the students there are not as privileged as you may think so you can always give it to somebody that is hungry or that specific friend that you know that cannot say no to food i had those if you don't have a measuring cup or a portioning cup it's very important that you have half of the plate but if you have a measuring cup have a cup of it and the thing with meals too is there are some specific meals that are more healthier than the other now in school now um I always went for pepper soup, I always went for bole, but bole without stew because the stew is just oil. Especially if you're in all these Yoruba states and you're in a private university in those Yoruba states, they are going to make stew the Yoruba way. And the Yoruba way is just small tomatoes and plenty oil. So I always had bole, just the plantain without without the oil. So I always stuck with maybe pepper soup because pepper soup, I find pepper soup something very easy and people don't make it unhealthy maybe the way they might wash it or you know clean the meat might be unhealthy or dirty but the cooking process cannot be unhealthy so i always did pepper soups i always did moi moi too because moi moi is something that cannot be even if they are to put a lot of oil into it or anything they are not going to put as much oil as they would 
inside the soups or inside the stews so i always stayed away from swallow not because there's anything wrong with swallow but just because of the way they make the swallow can be or the soups too can be unhealthy stick with rice and the rice i always find easy to stick with is of father rice because of father rice is local rice and is less processed so it contains a lot of fiber and i know the stew to um of father rice can be somewhat unhealthy so it's important that you just tell the lady to you know lower her hand when it comes to putting for you the stew and put less of the oil and put more of the stew i also always stop with having shawamas the reason why i stop with shawamas is because you can actually control what goes into it you can tell them see bros don't put so much um, mayonnaise into it don't put so much ketchup into it please put for me more um, cabbage into it more chicken into it you get and less of all those com um, com condiments and always stay away from the fried foods listen guys it's always good to have a cara and also too, if you're in a private investor and are selling a cara there it's always good to have a cara but understand too that one a cara contains 70 calories so buying 100 naira a cara which is 10 pieces of a cara because one a cara is 10 naira and buying just 10 pieces of a cara contains 700 calories so that is like having two plus meals you know so have some things but have them in small portions so portioning is very important and know exactly what you want to buy if you're not this yoruba state you can always go for ewa going and also to a wedu too is also a good soup to go because it's just a wedu blended together but maybe instead of putting a wedu beguri and the stew just a wedu and beguri without the stew and if you're in the eastern part of nigeria because that is where i'm from you could always go for okba because okba is made from a legume is made from um, a, a type of soya beans so okba is actually a good way to go if you're in a private university and are selling all those things another way to helping you lose weight in a private university is to cut having sodas now most people in any kind of university regardless of whether it's private or public in nigeria most students always have soda and the likelihood of university students overall having water is low now if you go into the cafeterias or ball trees what is being sold there is coke sometimes they don't even sell water because students never just ask for that and because most of the students leave for classes very early in the morning around 8 and they're having classes 8 to 10 to 12 and they come out and they have nothing to eat and haven't had anything to eat they always go for coke and go for sprite and fanta something so that is very carbonated so it's very important that you stop having um those carbonated drinks if you're in a private university or in any kind of university and opt for having more water in because water will help you overall with your skin your health remove toxins so remove having sodas and just have more water and also to if you're in a private university it's very important that you cut out having all your baked items so this also too goes with what i said with the drinks and even with food and because students are always on the go and are looking for quick and light things to have it they always always run towards having you know a meat pie or a donut or a snack something like it's just easier it's just way easier and i do understand because i would be in class from 8 to 12 that's like four hours and then i have like my break by two I, sometimes i even go from eight to like one and when it's time for break you're like hungry and then the only thing they're selling there is you know some meat pie sausage roll or bread and egg you know those are the things that are very like there and then you're hungry is available so i would always advise that if you're a student in a private university knowing that you can't even cook your meals and bring them to class is very important that because in private universities they do allow you have your provisions it's very important that you come with your own provisions and in the morning before you head out for classes have your meals like have oatmeal because oatmeal is something you can make very easy because they do allow students to have boiling rings just have oatmeal at home or if you don't have oatmeal or you don't enjoy having oatmeal you could always have muslini and if too if you're looking for a snack or something always come with maybe dried nuts or dried fruits as you know a snack or as part of your provision and come with it to school and come with it to class so that if there's a situation where you're hungry and you're looking for what to eat or nibble on you could always have you know some 
nuts or some fruit or dried fruits or you could always have like your oats in the morning before coming out to class now if you have your oats before coming out to class the chances of you having maybe two meat pie or two bread and eggs or even having indomie and three eggs is very low because you're not as hungry so your appetite isn't that much so it's important that you have like a good wholesome meal before coming out for class so that you don't have like a snack fest while in school or while in class even if you then have like your meals in the morning and in the afternoon you're hungry and you want to have something it's very important to as i said in the first tip to also have those snacks in small portions so having a full meal in and the morning time actually helps you have smaller portions during the day and also to have a lot of water before you go for class while you're in class after class always have water because water does suppress appetite another thing to also avoid having to help you lose weight in a private university is to stop having indomie now if you're nigeria you're very popular with indomie so indomie is as good as noodles it's literally just noodles and the thing is people in private universities can't cook noodles in their living accommodations why because students are allowed to have boiling rings they're allowed to have electric kettles so with electric kettles nigerian students are creative and we are smart so we do use our electric kettles to cook our indomie having indomie is very easy and then it saves you it saves you money to when you're a student but it's very important that if you're trying to lose weight that you avoid having indomines because one indomine is like 375 calories and definitely you're not going to have one indomie as a student you're going to have two indomie or just three indomines so it's very important that you cut out having indomie altogether in my own school convenance university they did sell smoothies and the smoothies were not going bad and they weren't sports so if you have that kind of services in your school wherever it is actually do have those smoothies and maybe have a smoothie that you know has maybe coconut in it or peanut butter because fats do keep you fuller for longer and when making those smoothies try to have less fruits into it because although the fruit does give like a lot of sweetness to it it's very easy to have fruits in excess because a lot of fructose might convert to um, glucose it's very important that you actually reduce the amount of um, sweet fruits going into it and opt for putting in more vegetables maybe lettuce cabbage all those things beetroot into it and coconut or peanut butter into it because all those coconut actually does hide a lot of taste and actually enhances the taste of your smoothies so opt for having more fats into your smoothies if those services are in your university so another way too of losing weight if you're a student in a private university and this tip applies to anybody but in private universities and in public universities now when i was a student i found out that i was eating in small portions and you know we trek to school you don't use buses and all that but then i wasn't losing the weight and it was just funny because in my head i'm being more active than i was at home and i was eating less than i was eating at home but then i was still gaining weight and it was just so frustrating and so surprising because the science wasn't adding up to me and now the thing is i was stressed in school believe it or not like school makes me stressed seeing the school gates makes me stressed and as a student you're really stressed you're battling projects assignments you know so many things papers essays you're really trying your best preparing for exams and nigerian universities in general are just so tough and so hard students are indeed under pressure and they are stressed and they are sleep deprived sleep is so important that's the tip i'm just trying to give is to have more sleep in it's very important that you have more sleep now you might be saying oh ugo you don't understand i'm an engineering student like this is my fifth year i need to give in like so much work understand too that if you aren't like having enough sleep cognitively you're not actually going to perform as well as you would have or can so it's important that you rest this is what happened to me now my highest weight when in school was 85 kilos now when i was in school in 300 level i was just like you know like you just get to a point where you're just like you know i can't come and kill myself like basically you just cannot die because of school so i was 
then putting in the work throughout the afternoon time and i told myself like i don't care what the exam is what kind of paper it is once it's 11 o'clock that the latest i'll ever be awake would be 11 o'clock so i would sleep from 11 and i found out that i was able to lose more weight firstly but most especially i was able to perform better academically now when i was in school i didn't attribute my you know ability to have more sleep to me performing the best i've ever did that semester to sleep in but as i finished school and i was doing a lot of studies sleep actually helps your cognitive function it actually helps you like remember stuff better and assimilate information better because that sometimes you're just reading things and you're just reading one line and you don't just understand it but then that's because you're just so stressed you're just having so much to do so much you're thinking about so just so much just so much and sometimes too students are you know supporting their family and going to school so that is like double commotion double stress so it's very important that you distress do activities that help you distress if it's you know going like for a walk meditating meditating is so so helpful just take out 10 minutes of your time and just calm your breathing close your eyes and just literally don't think of your problems don't think of that lecturer frustrating you just close your eyes and really just Think about what is not just stressing you out and just relax. Think about money. Think about your career. Think about being a first lady. You know, just have good calming thoughts rather than having class tomorrow, exams tomorrow, next week, this one. Just try to slow down and just any day, slow down. Also too, if you're in a private university trying to lose weight, it's very important that you stay active. So exercise is very important because in as much as you're cutting your calories, it's also important that you're moving more. So if you're a student that would always take like the shuttle buses or the school buses to your departments or your classes, it's important that you start walking to all those locations because in every private university, they are designed to be convenient. The whole setting of a private university is to make it convenient for a student so the living space isn't too far from the study areas and the study areas aren't too far from the recreational areas so they are actually walkable they are actually trackable so rather than just being a lazy girl or a lazy boy and just taking the bus to your engineering department that you claim to be far it's better that you take that 20 minutes walk and 30 minutes walk and if you just say i don't have the time and all that you make time for what is important to you so if that means you know waking up early so that you can be able to take that 30 minutes walk do that and some students just wake up really early in the morning and they just waste the whole morning maybe they are talking to friends or just doing something irrelevant rather than just dressing up and you know grabbing your bag and start taking the walk already and also to don't be ashamed or afraid to exercise because when i was in a private university i just saw exercising as just weird odd like i would just see boys jogging and i was like aren't you feeling awkward but your health is very important to you so it shouldn't be something you feel awkward about so if it's taking a walk and the thing about taking a walk is people just see it as complex or something they should complicate this is not a relationship simple wear your slides wear your loafers wear anything comfortable you mustn't wear sports clothes just wear anything maybe your same school uniform too and just take a walk don't overthink being active don't overthink being like exercising just with your regular clothes take a walk maybe with a friend take a walk around the school premises and also to in as much as you're taking your walks it's also important that you do exercise so download maybe on your iphone or on your phone or on your tablet if you're in Columbia university you're not allowed to have a phone so in your ta on your tablets do download exercises and exercise it's not important that you go outside and exercise because if you're somebody that hates public display of exercise i hate public display of exercise more than i hate public display of affection like if you're somebody that doesn't feel comfortable exercising in public just exercise in your room just in your small space and don't be afraid of what your roommate might think or not think and also to maybe just check your roommate's schedule and know when she's going to be around when she will not be around and you'll be around do your exercise then 
when she just steps out mistakenly you you step in and do your exercise and call it a day you mustn't do a 30 minute exercise do a 10 minutes exercise and 8 minute exercise plus your walking you would see progress also too with exercising too things like jumping rope are things that are allowed into private universities it's important that if you're trying to also get active you could actually get into jumping rope and skipping rope because I find jumping rope as a very easy exercise that you can do virtually anywhere but is very effective and is a total body exercise so if you cannot make time for maybe walking you can always jump rope for five minutes seven minutes and call it a day the location of those private universities so when students even do decide to leave school and get food the places those private universities are located is like Ime Ime Obodo, where there's no point like there's no civilization nothing like that where you can get a good solid healthy meal it will cost you like 2k so why bother so they have the private universities have actually made it so difficult for students to lose weight or even reach their weight loss goals whatever the school does you cannot control what they're doing you can't control the management you can't control the rules they put in place you can't control what those women put in the foods but the thing you can control is what you do what you can do you can control your sleeping patterns you can control the portions of food you eat you can con you can control your activity levels so it's important that the things that you can't control that you hold on to it and actually control it and the things that you cannot control which is the management the rules the food you just let it be and control the things that you can control so that is the key to losing weight in private universities controlling what you can control so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video please do click a thumbs up button and also to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you subscribe to my youtube channel please don't forget to click the bell notification button is the small bell beside the bar that says subscribe the red bar that says subscribe do click it so that whenever i come out with a new video or any video you'll be the first to know and check out my content until you do that and when you do that just know that i'm heading out now